Thank you. I just had this moment there of, of really great fear, and my, my heart is still pounding. So I don't know what to do with that. What are you afraid of? Of death. That's right. And what do you want? I'm afraid. No, that's what you don't want. Fear? You don't want fear, but no. what do you want? I want freedom, truth. Beautiful. If what you want is freedom and truth, are you willing to be afraid anyway? Yeah. Beautiful. But it was like, um, like three weeks ago I was invited to an ayahuasca ceremony and I had the, it's called Medicina del Sapito, it's from a frog. And I had this very intense experience of nothing and being eternal. And, and I was okay with that. But here it was like, okay, I'm dying. And my heart was pounding a lot. And so I'm afraid of who I am. Yes. And that's not a problem. The problem is that you serve that fear, hmm. and you're a slave of it. Fear is not the problem. But you believe that because there's fear there, that means you can't. Yeah, everybody's afraid of death, naturally. Yeah. We wouldn't survive as a species if we weren't afraid of death. Mm -hmm. We'd all be dead. <laughs> yeah. okay. Makes common sense for good animal husbandry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't have to rule you. It can be welcome. Because mm. death is the great initiator. Death takes you to the other side. So when death comes, death or fear of death comes again. Invite it. Invite it. It's a good day to die. Okay. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's a great gift. Mm -hmm. If you're willing to meet death, everything is revealed. If you're not willing to meet it, you run away. And in running away, you're running into suffering. You know, my teacher would talk about the person who comes to cross the road for freedom but sees a snake and is afraid of the snake and turns back. And every day comes and sees the same snake and turns back. And one day someone comes from the other side, from the land of freedom, just at the same moment, and says, it's not a snake, it's a rope. You don't have to kill the snake, you don't have to transform it, you don't have to work with it, you don't have to dream about it. It's not a snake, it's a rope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. I'm still cold. Yes, good, that's good. Yeah. Something alive is stalking you. <laughs> <laughs> good. That's what's made this so rare, is that we're all afraid of death. And rightly so. Good to be afraid of death. Very, very useful. Except, there's a point we have to be willing to die. You have to be willing to face death. That's what it takes. And that willingness is all that's required. That's how. People say, yeah, but how do I do it? That's how. You're willing. You're willing to not run. You're willing to not move. You're willing for whatever it is, whatever it takes, come and get me. And that, you're unmovable. You're invincible. Nothing can stop you. Because there's no going. <laughs> So that's why we're here, to support each other. This is what stillness is. True stillness. 
through stillness is the unmoving willingness to not to bear it all whatever it takes then of course you're afraid so what of course you're uncomfortable so what of course it may not be pleasant of course it may not feel good so what those aren't the criteria for whether you stay or go. If it is, if, oh, this is too intense, i got to get out of here, or, oh, this is too much, I have to do something else, or, oh, I can't bear it, or, oh, no, what if? And so we betray ourselves. And we've all done that to different degrees, and to the degree that we do that, we kind of cut our own integrity. And that's okay. It's a wounding. You can grow from it, you can benefit from it if you tell the truth about it. The tendency is just to reframe it in a way that it's really not our fault. You know, I'm just not ready. It was too big. Not now, not yet. This isn't the right time. Whatever it is, we tell ourselves some story to rationalize our turning away. And then we go chasing it again. And then chasing it again, we're moving away. And that's how we keep ourselves occupied, some of us. Running away and then chasing it. And yet immobility is your greatest gift. Immobility is your true integrity and power. Immobility. The unwillingness to run. Each one of us has our own path. We each have our own circumstances. We each have our own tests. But it's all leading in the same direction. It's all pushing you off the edge of the known. The challenge. What it is you're willing to live for and die for. And that's where we meet. Whatever the individual circumstances that push you to the edge, when you go over the edge, that's where we meet beyond the edge, beyond the known. And that's what we're here for. <laughs>